This tiny patient is two months old. The nurse helping her says she weighs less than five pounds. Throughout my work in this department in a northern Gaza hospital, we got used to receiving such cases in large numbers every day. We don't know how many children there are like this one. We do know aid groups such as the UN's World Food Program have spent months warning of a spiraling crisis. We desperately need the conditions to get access every day to be flooding this area with food assistance. The International Court of Justice issued an updated order to Israel Thursday, calling on it to fully cooperate with the UN without delay to allow for basic services and humanitarian assistance to get to those in need and for more land crossings to be used to access Gaza. I've met so many people who are angry and tired and despairing because their children go to sleep every night hungry. Israel says it does not prevent aid from entering Gaza and emphasizes its military actions are in self-defense, striking what it calls terror cells in Lebanon in an exchange of attacks with the militant group Hezbollah, while air and ground operations against Hamas in Gaza are relentless. We have to win. There is no substitute for victory. Victory at all costs is straining relations between Israel and the U.S. America has warned against large ground operations in Rafah and has repeatedly urged Israel to do more to protect civilians and ensure they have access to needed humanitarian supplies. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.